Greetings and blessings, everybody. This is Johannes Lindstedt again, and now I'm going to begin with part two of Café Tropical. This is the main guitar melody uh, for the verse part, what I call the verse part. Basically, uh, everything again is still in A minor. doesn't change keys. I start the A on the 10th fret, and then slide it down to the E, on the fifth fret. So A, this is all in the second string, by the way. A down to E, and then G sharp down to D. So I'll let you hear how I do it first, and then I'll go through the instruction of it. Okay, so to slow it down again, we're starting on the A on the second string, sliding it down to the E. And then I'm taking the F on the second string and doing this. It's all on the second string. F, E, F, down to the D. And that's where it uh, switches to A. Uh, an E7 chord. So the first part is A minor. And then I'm starting on a G sharp on the second string at the 10th fret, sliding it down to the D on the second string at the 3rd fret. And that's going to the 6th, the 6th uh, fret, the F, down to the E, back to the F, and then I do a little, little hammer on on pull off thing on the E and the F. And then I do a little run up, starting from the D, E, F, G sharp on the 6th fret of the 1st string, A up to the B on the 1st string, okay, And then the next section I'm doing, you probably know the D7 form. Well, if you move it up, eventually it becomes an E7 form. Excuse me, a G7 form. No, it is an E7. So you probably know the D7 form. So the next section is. So the next. So the next section is. So with the next section, I take a D7 form. And move it up. Okay, here it becomes an E7, but this is an inversion of it, with an F. So it's actually not a pure E7, it has an F in there, but it harmonizes with the E7. And then I go like this. So it's just that E7 form starting with the third finger at the seventh fret, the first finger on the second string at the sixth fret, and the middle finger on the third string at the seventh fret. So you have to make sure you can hear all three very clearly. And I just pick downwards. Well, actually, I start with an up pick on the first string. But I'm descending in the notes. And then I use the, like a D minor form, moving it up to the A minor form. And then I just bar here on the fifth fret, that becomes like an A minor. And 
that's basically like a D form. So here it's a G, here it's an F, and here it's an E. And then I go back to that sort of um, inverted uh, E7. And that a, a D minor form, of bringing it up to an A minor form. Okay, so that's the inversion, moving it down two frets and then down one fret. So this is actually, here it's like a G, here it's like an F, and here it's like an E, all sevenths. Okay, so here it is again. Also go like this. So that's just following the chord. B, A, and I'm doing a little hammer on following the scale down with it. And then it goes to the main horn melody, and you can watch that on the other video. Okay, hope that helps. Blessings to you all. Thank you.